Welcome back. I'm Rahanna and we are playing more of Gakko in Heaven 2. We are with Kuya and Yuki at the party intending to meet with Kazuki and actually it is time to do that now. This was just wrapping up a little scene where Kuya is explaining a bit about his past, how he's used to wearing suits and going to fancy parties because his father's a diplomat and has often taken his family to events like this. Now we're being invited to come over and talk to Kazuki, so... We'll just continue from here. Are you the ones who wanted to talk to me? And if you've played any of the original versions that were voiced or maybe even saw the show, um, Kazuki does have the same voice actor this time around. They're pretty good about that sort of thing when they bring back characters. Of course, Keita has the same voice, Dr. Matsuoka has the same voice. So it's nice to have the consistency with the characters and the voices that you're familiar with. So here we have Kazuki, and unlike before though, his name shows up as Suzubishi. So he is no longer going by the, f well, not necessarily fake, but he's not using his mother's maiden name, Endo, as his name anymore. So this person is the head of Suzubishi. Hi, BL Gakuen, Seto Asahina Yuki desu. Yes, I'm the BL School Student Council President, Asahina Yuki. Sagimori Kuya desu. Fukukaicho o tsutomete imasu. I'm Sagimori Kuya. I serve as Vice President. So if anyone's going to come speak to Kazuki about the school, if any students especially, it makes sense that these two would be the ones to do it. It's a good thing Joker and company did not tag long. So ka. Seito kai no yakuin ga konna tokoro made kite. Dou shita ndai? I see. So what brings the student council staff to a place like this? Uh, Yuki is kind of nervous here. You can tell from the way he's speaking a little bit hesitant and a little... Mm, which I can totally understand. I would be like that too, I'm sure. Um, do you know what's happening at BL school right now? The board of directors put out a proposal to close the school. They're trying to shut it down. I've heard about what's going on at your school. Since I'm the guardian of the current director. Tomo's guardian? You are? Yes, isn't that why you came to see me? So this really makes me wonder how much does Kazuki know about how the board is pressuring Tomo? I mean, he must know something, but I don't think he knows everything. Because if he knew everything, he would probably be in there knocking people's heads together and stuff. Because you do not mess with Kazuki's school. You just don't. So, but it's still never made quite clear just to what extent... He knows about what's what's going on there, which is a little disappointing. I wish they had been a little more explicit about that, but I guess it's better that things are a little ambiguous so you can kind of fill in the pieces yourself. Yeah. No, I didn't know at all, so of course Yuki has no idea that, uh, especially playing on Kuya's route, that Kasuki is Tomo's official legal guardian, so I had no idea. Why did the board suddenly announce that they're closing the school? We just came here wanting to know that reason. Since you're a Suzubishi, you must know the reason, don't you? It can't be that the Suzubishi group no longer needs the school. That's not it. Then what is it? Please tell us. Unfortunately, that's not something I can say. I've left everything about the school to Kasahara as the current director. So I'm not in a position to interfere with the school now. 
そんな、oh, no. 理由が知りたいだけなんですよ。どうしても知りたいなら、サカキ副理事に尋ねるといい。Really know, もう聞きました。でも、サカキ先生は生徒は知る必要がないって教えてくれなかったんです。But he said it's none of the students' business and didn't tell us. なら、そういうことなんだろう。Then that's how it is. きっと君たちが知る必要のない理由なんだよ。知る必要がないってどういうことですか俺たちの学校のことなのに。What do you mean we don't need to know? But it's our school, so he's kind of having, having that balance between being polite to this person who is above him and You know, wanting to be pushy and get at the truth here because obviously Kazuki is practicing major avoision. And、um, it frustrated me too. I was really kind of annoyed with this. Are there some circumstances you can't talk about?、Hmm. Clearly, because he's not saying anything. Is it adult matters? And、look at Kuya's face there. It's just that same thing again adult stuff causing all the problems for everyone. So, what the credit come on? I don't mind if you think so. Hey, don't toy with us. So, Yuki's getting pretty pissed here.、ね、I'm sorry. Uh, oh, me too. I, I was rude. I'm sorry. This is bad. I might be causing trouble. That's right, since we suddenly intruded on him, even though he's busy. Maybe we should leave now. But can we really go back like this without having heard anything? Of course not. So, the choices are give up or be persistent. And if you give up, that puts you on the route to、uh, basically the bad ending. I think, yeah, Kuya has three endings. There's a the love ending, there's a friendship ending, and there's a bad ending. And if you give up here, you are setting yourself up for the bad ending. Do not give up here. Be annoying. No. If I give up here, there would be no point in coming. I know I'm causing trouble. But we want to know no matter what. なんでこんなことになっちゃったんですか俺たちが何かしたんですか Why is this happening? What did we do? 俺たちは悪くないのに理事会とかそういう人たちの都合で勝手に振り回されてるとしたら If we're going to be selfishly manipulated for the convenience of people like the board even though we didn't do anything wrong 俺はこの学園の生徒会長として何とかしないといけないと思うんです I think I have to do something as the school's student council president 俺たちはあの学園が大好きです。大切なんです。We love this school and we treasure it. だから、守りたい。So、we want to protect it. 何ができるかわからないけど、できる限りのことはしたいんです。I don't know what I can do, but I want to do everything that I can. ありがとう。Thank you. え君はあの学園のことを本当に大事に思ってくれているんだね。And you could very easily tell that you've chosen the right thing because the music changes from something a little threatening to something nicer. You really treasure that school, don't you? That makes me very happy. とと Since it's also a very important place to me. Oh. But in this matter, I'm not one of the people involved, so I can't say anything. My interjecting means that I don't trust those who are involved. I'm sorry, but please forgive me. So, very different from before making the choice, before Yuki went and spoke about how the school is so important to him. And if you've played the original, you know that the school is very dear to Kazuki. And yes, it has a lot to do with、uh, Keita if you happen to follow his character route and all that stuff. But keep in mind that we're here at the party with Kuya and we already saw Keita with someone else. We saw him with Sionji, the queen. So even though 
we're talking to Kazuki here, he is not with Keita on this route. So despite that, the school is still incredibly important to him. So don't think that the school is only important to him because of Keita. Keita is a part of it, and I'm sure they're still very close friends. In fact, if you watch the scene, the key scene that you got with Keita and Sionji, you will see that, yes, they are very close friends still, as that's discussed in there. But just overall, the school is precious to Kazuki, and that's why he hung on for so long to be the director there, even though he was being pulled away by his father, saying, you need to start doing some of the actual company work instead of just running this school. Sure, it's a big, important school, but in the grand scheme of the whole Suzubishi group, it's not that much. So, you know, by Yuki kind of tapping into that and getting at the, the heart of his feelings for the school, too, now we can have a more productive conversation with him. Forgive you, well... Me too. Well, now that he said that, I don't know what I should do. I understand what he's saying. But this doesn't change anything. I can't understand why this happened at all. What should I do? Isn't there something more I can do? May I say something too? So we have Kuya jumping in to help us out. You know, don't forget Kuya is here. Kuya-san. What is it? You said Bell Liberty is a very important place to you. You said You said Bell Liberty is a very important place to you. Then why did you quit being director? Wow, go right for the heart. Ouch. What? Director? And Yuki has no idea. You were the director at the time that the MVP battle was held, weren't you? Ah, so that. Yeah, that's right. So, did you say that you were the director at the time that the MVP battle was held, weren't you? Ah, so that. Yeah, that's right. So, then the director who was fully an ally of the students that was mentioned by Professor Ito. If I remember correctly, he said that person was working at the top of the Suzubishi group. Keita no yatsu. Sonna koto itte ta no ka. Keita told you that. Gakuen no koto ga daiji na no datta ra. Zutto riji chou o tsuzukeru koto wa deki na katta n desu ka? If you treasured the school, couldn't you have continued as the director the entire time? Mochiron. Yuru sareru koto na raba. Zutto riji chou shoku o tsuzuke ta katta. I almost feel a little bad for him here because you could tell that Kuya is kind of poking a very sore spot. Of course, if I had been allowed, I wanted to continue being director. But I originally had to enter the company business. I was allowed to continue for six years due to my selfishness. So there we have it. He was the director for six years. And this is actually a sticky point in the game, too, because I'm trying to figure out exactly when Nao became director, which obviously would be when Kazuki stopped being director. But there's like contradictory stuff everywhere. So we know that Kazuki started being the director when Niwa came to the school. So that was two years before Keita got there. So he was there for two years before Keita, three years that Keita was at the school, and one year after he graduated. But there's just, I can't remember exactly where it was, but I think it was in、um, in Sakaki's route where someone, I think Kazuki again had mentioned something about time, time spent at the school. And it was very confusing and it's like contradictory. And then there's some information in,、um, in Keita's profile, which is not an official part of the game, but it's on the material CD for the game that said that. Kazuki stopped being director after, immediately after Keita graduated. So there's some confusion about how all this stuff shakes out. Because trying to figure out exactly when Sakaki came, because I thought Sakaki and Nao started at the same time, but it seems that no matter what the possibility is for all the, the different contradicting bits of information that we get from the game and materials, it seems like that's never possible. So. Just trying to work that out for my own benefit kind of gave me a headache. But back to what we're actually doing here. I was allowed to continue for six years due to my selfishness. 
それ以上の横車を押すわけにはいかなかったということですか But you couldn't really have your own way any more than that, could you? そういうこと。That's right. でも、ただ続けられなくなったからやめたわけじゃない。But I just stopped continuing. I didn't actually quit. 私と同じくらい、学園の理念を理解し、学園を愛してくれる人物に出会ったからだ。Since I met someone who loved the school and understood the school's ideals as much as I did. それが、笠原君の前の理事長。鈴菱直君だよ彼になら信頼して任せられると思って理事長の椅子を譲ったんだ俺も前理事長からあなたの話を伺ったことがあります何て言ってた面白い人だよと。That you're an interesting person. <laughs> no, good, I see that. That's very like now. So that makes me also wonder how much of a relationship they had. It seems like they were pretty close. And I wonder also who adopted now. Because we know he was adopted by someone because he was a distant relation of Suzy Bishi. I wonder was he adopted by Kazuki's father? Was he somehow adopted by Kazuki himself? It's never made clear. And we don't know too much about Kazuki's family, how big it is. All we know is that he has an aunt, for sure. I mean, he may have other relatives, of course, but there's no way to know because we've never been told. So I wish I knew more about the relationship because I'm very interested in, you know, Kazuki and now and all these characters. All the adult characters are like my favorites. So I'm a little disappointed that we don't get more information about all of them. I thought I was the Well, we had the same ideals. It's truly a shame that he died so young. I agree. Of course, I trust Kasahara, who now entrusted the rest to. He's a capable boy. Kasahara, who now entrusted the rest to. He's a capable boy. I believe that he can overcome even this situation with his own strength. And besides, more than anything, I believe in the students of BL school. You'll be able to overcome this crisis. You have the means. We should win the Bell One. その通り。That's right. でも、理事会は約束を守ってくれるかな。But will the board really keep their promise? And that's kind of what Takato was hinting at before when he was saying he doesn't trust the board. It's a good question. It's probably something you've been wondering too. Even though we know from playing other routes that things always seem to work out, but it's reasonable for everyone to wonder. ベルワンすべてに勝って。エースの資質を証明できたら腕章を返すと榊副理事が約束したんだろ Well, Assistant Director Sakaki promised that if you won all of the Bell One and proved that you were qualified to be the ace, he would return the armband, didn't he? それなら大丈夫。彼はそういう約束を破るような人じゃない。Then it'll be okay. He's not the kind of person who would break a promise like that. 榊先生のこと知ってるんですか You know Professor Sakaki? それなりにでも君たちの方が彼と長く過ごしているんだろう In a way, but you've spent longer with him, haven't you? So suggesting that the students know him better. So the implication I'm assuming is that these two never worked together, which makes sense because if now started before Sakaki did, there's no way Sakaki would have worked with Kazuki. 彼が厳しいことを言ったとしても決して君たちが憎いからじゃないとわかるんじゃないかな Even though he speaks harshly, you know that it's not done out of hate, don't you? 君たちがこの学園にふさわしいことを示すことができれば卑怯な真似をするようなことはない If you show that you're fit for the school, he wouldn't do something so cowardly 少なくとも私はそう思っているよ I think at least that much そうですか I see それより
君たちは示すことができるのかい More importantly, can you show it? あの理事会を納得させられるような BL 学園を存続させ続ける意味や理由を A point to allowing the school to stay open that the board can accept もちろんできます Of course we can 俺はそれをベルワンを通してきちんと示してみせます We will get through the bell one and show it indisputably なら君はどうかな生徒会長君 Then how about you, student council president? これからも我々鈴菱グループがあの学園を存続させるに足る意味や価値が君にあるのかい Is there enough meaning or value in us, the Suzubishi group, continuing to run the school for you? それは Well, and I'm going to stop here because this is quite long and this is a decision point which will actually lead to a bit of a longer conversation.、Um, so there's no way it would all fit in here. But yeah, so that's, that's the scene with Kazuki and it will continue a bit more. Um, nice to see his attitude change quite drastically once you decide to be persistent and speak your mind about how the school is important. Because at first he seemed a little cold, which was irritating to me, especially the first time I played this. I was like, what is his problem? Because playing the first game, Kazuki is such a goofball all the time. He's just a nut. But here he is wearing his adult persona. He is. You know, behaving as the person who's set, up, set to head up the Suzubishi group in upcoming years. So, you know, he's at a party surrounded by all his peers. He has to look, look the part, play the part, even though he is the kind of person who can flip very easily between those two extremes the kind of goofy, childish persona and his very adult and responsible and corporate persona. So, um,. Yeah, and we'll get to see a little more of that. So I'm going to stop here. This is quite a long scene already. So I hope you enjoyed that and come back for more,、uh, more fun Kazuki time. Thank you for watching.